Your dad is uh, your dad is from the US. Yeah. Okay. How much do I need to party here in Jamaica? Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. Boom. So that's where we came from. That's walking street, but just walking that way. And now we're going to the back streets here. All these roads lead up. So I've never been, I've been to this place, but not that much. But uh, today is a holiday here. So today is very, I don't know if you can hear me guys. Oh, very cool car passing by. Honda, that way. I usually don't come to this area. Oh, some breeze. So, wow. I think it's really noisy. Maybe I should I should pass. I should pass this route first. So, you ever wondered why we don't have Manila Airport? But we have an airport called Ninoy. That's the, the international airport here. It's very windy. You can see from my cape. It's super, super windy. It's because of these buildings. You see, they're very tall. So because of that, the breeze is kind of... The breeze is kind of high here. Okay. So... I'm trying to pass this area and I will explain. I'll explain something. Oh. Oh. So, we don't have... Uh, oh man. So we don't have Manila Airport. That's because... Hey, good, good girl. Say hello. hello. Yeah. Hello. What? So... Oh, I, I didn't know I am passing the wrong routes. Too many girls around here. But it's a holiday today, so let me go back to my point. Okay? So you ever wondered why we don't have Manila Airport, but we have an airport called Ninoy. So Ninoy was a politician here. He was a senator. A very, I would say, strong opposition senator. I think that's the best way to explain it. So, he became senator in 1967, if I'm not wrong, around there. Okay. So, I'm passing today this route. This looks really like dangerous route, but it looks like really dangerous and self-isolated. But this is where I'm going to pass today, because it's more quiet and I can explain this story. So, Nino was uh, a very strong opposition senator and uh, because of that the current government not current during those days that government was led by a president called marcos okay so this is history here you have to follow me step by step so that government was led by a president called Marcos who didn't like Ninoy at all because he was a strong opposition figure, you know, to his government. So in 1980, 
Nino he got a, he, he he was actually arrested. He was in prison. But in 1980, Nino got arrested. No, 1980, Nino in prison got a heart attack. And Marco's wife, Marcos was the president that time. The wife gave permission for Nino to go get some treatment abroad. So Nino left uh, the Philippines and went to the United States. And when he went there, he self-exiled himself, you know. He said he didn't want to come back here because maybe he felt his life was in danger. So that was 1980. I hope you're not forgetting this. So, three years later, 1983, okay, So three years later, in 1983, Nino decided to come back to the Philippines, you know. So three years after he self-exiled himself, but still the current president, Marcos, not the current, I mean those days, he was still the president. Thank you, bro, thank you. He was still the president here in the Philippines. So when he arrived in Manila, the main airport was called Manila Airport, okay. So during the transition between him getting off a plane to entering his car, he got shot in, in the head and he died. So Aquino, he, a, a, uh, Ninoy Aquinos got killed on this day today, which is August 21st of uh, 1983. So today here in the Philippines is a national holiday celebrated by all. Actually, people are not supposed to go to work. Everybody is just at home. Thank you, bro. Is the guy saying hello there? So that's why today is a holiday here, and this holiday is called Ninoy Aquino's holiday. I'm, I'm alone, so I hope you don't mind. So that's why the airport that used to be called Manila is now called Aqui, uh, it's now called Nino Airport. That's because Nino himself, who was a senator, was shot dead and killed there. Actually, that led to a huge revolution, uh, uprising here in the Philippines, and it was led by the former senator's wife, I mean, the late Nino's wife, whose name was Corazon Ninoy, okay? So this is history now. I don't know, I'm so smart in history and I grab things like this. So, there was a huge uprising here in the Philippines and many people were saying, oh, Marcos, you killed this guy, but it's not, it's not well documented. Like, he was, but you, you can tell from the story what really happened. It's not really well documented because other people were arrested and prosecuted for killing the former senator, which many people felt it was not true. So in that revolution, you know, Marcos, who was still the president, ran away, you know? So when he ran away, the country was unoccupied by a president and the wife to the senator who was shot Ninoy, who we are celebrating today here in the Philippines, became the first female president of the Philippines. And he was the 11th president of the Philippines. That's the brief history about the Philippines in those years in, in the 80s and why today that history has an impact as we speak here. So this street here when you walk, You'll find a lot of people in the street, all kinds of people, on a normal day, not now. And it's it's a wrong route, actually. You'll find a lot of pimps right here. I just found that out, you know? Anyway, let's finish our, our video on some other time. Hello. Oh, this looks kind of dangerous, man. So 
actually the government here I don't know if it's the national government or the local government is giving food to some people so if you walk to a place and see hundreds of people outside waiting they are dishing out food yeah This lady, what's happening here? What's happening? I'm okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They are really happy. They still came to say hello again. Wow. the cars in the Philippines that's how they look like let me show you how inside it looks like hello see so this is for self self isolation you know so social distancing that's how it looks like and also this right here hello <laughs> that's, that's the driver so that is for social distancing this is the famous McDonald's and right here we wanna be crossing. Yo, what's up man? How are you? Okay. Yeah yeah, she's there. Yeah yeah. Yeah, but today I'm going to my house. Be careful, it's this guy. Where are you going to my house? Everything okay? No. Why is you didn't make any money today? A little bit? Because okay, tomorrow I'll buy you food, okay? okay. At least tomorrow. Okay. Last time I bought you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. You said 2 p.m. Oh! But I don't. Th that was yesterday. Oh, wait, I didn't buy you food? No. You sure? That day I didn't give you money in the bank? I know. Oh. You said tomorrow. You okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna give you now, okay? So you know sometimes, sometimes I confuse them. They look same. They look same style, same stuff. Where is, I don't know where my friend is. Yeah, so sometimes they really confuse me, man. Let me give him some 20 pesos. Wow, I don't have, let me give him. Let me give him one dollar. I think that would be okay, man. It's not that I have money. I just, I just share. I believe in sharing. Hey, come. Okay. Something small for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir, bro. Okay, bro. I think he feels much better today. Hey, excuse me. What? Are you? Where are you from? Because you look black, you know. Yeah. Where are you from? African American. Oh, wait. Your dad is uh, your dad is from the US? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Even Yeah. They feared my camera, you know. Most of them don't like my camera. That's why she ran away. But probably when I'll see her again with no cameras, maybe she may be willing to talk to me. But she tells me Okay, bro. Okay. I just gave that guy some some one dollar so it's very hard so i guess she just didn't like my camera that's why they walked away but i could tell they wanted to talk to me that's why they were around here moving up and down anyway it's a street life here in, in angelo city let me cross the road and see how things go Woo! these guys they don't totally observe thank you man Yeah. 
people don't observe that. So it's just crazy to see. I'll see you tomorrow, man. I'm going to the house. Okay? He's a very hard working guy. Very hard working. Every day. Okay, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's his friend. So my other friend came. What's up? I already bought food for your... You met your friend? This? Yeah. I bought him lunch because I had promised him. So you maybe tomorrow, okay? My no. food, I am hungry. Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. There, in McDo. Yeah. <laughs> he feels bad. Tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. At least, yes, say yes, man. You know, I'm a good guy. Yeah. Go home now? Yeah, now I'm going home. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, man. Yeah. At least, at least I do something for them when they see me, man. You know, they see me sometimes as a father figure in the streets. Oh. Today is a hectic day here. Yeah, my friend. How are you, bro? Okay, man. Today is a holiday, as I already explained. That's why you see a lot of people kind of free. They want to shop. They want to buy stuff here. Yeah, so it's, it's a holiday today. Aquinos, okay. Day today. Very important in the Philippines. Yeah. Busy, busy day. Very busy day. Yeah, this is against my friends. So, I always pass here and they call me brother all the time. Remember when I was trying to open a business for the other guy, John? This is the guy who told me the price or the capital. That's how it's supposed to be called in business terms. So, I'm heading home, man. Eh? I'm heading home. Crazy here. Thank <laughs> you.